The Meta Quest 3 just came out, and there's a lot of reviews coming out for the headset, but the subject of audio is never really talked much about when it comes to VR headsets. Many do feel that the Quest 3 built-in audio is an improvement over the Quest 2, but in what ways? We'll dive a little in-depth into that topic. As well, we'll compare with the Valve Index ear speakers and some other headsets audio systems, and possibly some good options for headphones or earphones that you could use with the Quest 3 instead. I also want to be clear from the beginning that the headset I'm using right now is the Index. The main reason I'm using the Index is because the microphone on the Quest 3 is kinda... This is what the Quest 3 microphone sounds like. Yeah, it's not very good. So first of all, we're going to be looking at something called a frequency response graph. These are measurements that I took myself with an ear simulator that has a human-like acoustic impedance. It has an ear canal simulator that can achieve a measurement much closer to how a human would hear than just an open-air microphone, or even a binaural microphone. These graphs are arranged left to right, going through the bass, the mids, and then the highs. The graphs are overlaid with a preference target as a visual reference, but it's okay to deviate from that line. Graphs can be displayed in their raw form, which has a transfer function similar to a real human ear, boosting certain frequencies, but it'll also show a flattened composite graph, which is closer to how we actually perceive sound once your brain has filtered out those effects. When it comes to VR audio, for many headsets, you also had to wear a separate pair of headphones. But people and manufacturers soon learned that having some sort of built-in audio can really help in the overall comfort and immersion, not having to wear a loose pair of headphones as well as a VR headset. The first one to do this right was the original Oculus Rift consumer version. This headset got a lot of praise for its headphones, and even now, some feel it's the best when it comes to built-in audio in a VR headset. Once you look into it though, it's not really that surprising, as it used the famous Koss 60 ohm driver, an audiophile budget favorite open back headphone driver that's used in headphones such as the Portabro, KPH30i, KPH40, and KSC75. The headphones on the Rift CV1 were light, on-ear, but they also had a decent amount of punch and bass extension for their size. Really, if you love the OG Rift audio and you want to get that again, just get a pair of Koss headphones like the Portapro. Some of even 3D printed brackets use them as permanent additions for their VR headsets. The Valve Index is another popular VR headset that's praised for its audio, and rightly so. It uses ear speakers that don't touch your ear, which in my opinion is a huge benefit to immersion, and the overall tonality is quite decent for what it is. Although it's a little bright and lacks some bass extension, but spatial effects work quite well, helping to pinpoint things in 3D space. Now finally getting to the Quest 3, how does it compare? And not that great. If these were just a normal pair of headphones, I wouldn't really want to listen to them. I used the Quest 3 for a few hours first before measuring them, just normal first impressions, playing games, and they sounded off to me. Yes, they did seem a little better than the Quest 2 headphones, and they are definitely louder. But they sound a little harsh and peaky at times, and I even heard some distortion sometimes. Their tonality is kind of like a harsh V shape without the bass extension. All you get is like the upper bass bloaty sound, and then a bunch of treble that's trying to balance it out. Now this is sometimes done because it can sometimes make things sound bigger or give like a larger sound. And to be honest, spatial effects such as imaging were actually quite decent in the Quest 3. But the overall poor sound quality is just something that sort of stood out to me. So what solutions would there be to improve the Quest 3 audio? Well, like I mentioned before, there's always the cost options. They're cheap, lightweight, and open back so you can still hear your surroundings. And also because they're so popular, there's a bunch of modding support for them even in the VR community. But what if you're someone who wants noise isolation, while you may be tempted to get a pair of closed back over-ear headphones? In my opinion, I'd rather choose IEMs. Over-ear closed back headphones are quite bulky, and depending on what head strap you upgrade to, because let's be honest, you're not keeping the stock strap for the Quest 3, uh, some headphones just won't fit around it. With IEMs, you're able to get excellent sound quality and isolation, and at quite a cheap price. For only around $20, IEMs like the Truth Air Ola, uh, Tangzu Wanner or Sound Zero are all huge upgrades from the Quest 3 onboard audio. And they're also pretty good for just normal music listening as well. If you want to stretch a bit more, for around $50, the Truthier and Critical Zero Red is one of my favorite IEMs that's under $100. And I think it works really well with the Quest 3. But in terms of just the Quest 3 built in speakers, they're better than the Quest 2, and not having to use extra headphones is nice, especially for immersion. But when I'm playing a lot of games like Beat Saber or other music based games, I do find myself wishing that they chose a different audio solution. Maybe another headset will come out with better audio. Wait, is the big screen beyond going to use cost portable drivers? 